Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and of course, stay with us. Yes, we're here. It's Chris Sheeran in the US of A. And Amanda Zowie B joining us from Sweden. Uh, is it a little crazy out there, Amanda, trying to, you know, we're supposed to be in basketball mode right now, but we're in lockdown mode right now. We all want to be living our normal lives, but it's an adjustment. So you have, you have to be positive, at least try to be. Well, we actually not on like lockdown, lockdown. Um, so I can still go out and run just so, social distancing and um, I'm doing a lot of insanity work workouts at home which <laughs> sounds is, familiar yeah yeah and then i'm just trying to read catch up on shows and stuff like that it's a normal All right. <laughs> what what show are you catching up on what what are you binging right now if you're binging something uh the circle usa okay which is, yeah so i got two more episodes me and my mother are watching it together and we're gonna finish it tonight and it's so different because I'm so used to being away from the family. Right. So like the first week, I was okay, this is cool. I'm like, you guys <laughs> are always here. <laughs> but now, it's great. It's great. Now, it's like catching up on time that we haven't had together right. in years. Now let's talk about different. let's talk about why you're away from the family so much. That's because of your basketball career. And I gotta tell you, you have one of the best journeys ever you're a 10 year old in sweden you're trying tennis you're trying soccer nothing seems to fit you go to basketball you can't even make a layup three At years all. later three years later you're playing for the national team then you're then you're the second overall draft pick coming out of minnesota uh, you go to the tulsa shock now you're with the new york liberty i mean going from a 10 year old who couldn't hit a layup to that <laughs> trajectory is just amazing amanda Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like being at home, like seeing all of the kids still out in the park. I'm like, wow, like you guys could really just follow my footsteps and like go even further, you know? But it's really crazy to think that that's actually me, like that I went through it all and I accomplished so much and I'm so young still and I have so much more to give. So it's definitely like a blessing. And you don't think about it. Cause like I just live my life, but then when I do think about it, it's like that's really crazy, you know. <laughs> of course, and you know one of the things that I noticed a lot covering this team last year and doing play by play was I like to sit and just observe. And when you all would come out to warm up, when the ninety minute mark would hit on the shot clock, the hype woman came out of nowhere, and that's you. And you just get the team so hyped to get into those warm-ups. And I look at the kids' faces, and I could tell how into this they are and, and how you reach young girls and young fans everywhere with, with how excited you are to be with this team and in this area. So going on what you just said, seeing the kids in the park, I see that in the arena every time we have a game. That's beautiful. Like that, that really just gave me like butterflies. Like that's beautiful. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just love the game and I love my sisters that are with me, you know, and yeah, I guess I'm just being mean, but, but that, that really means a lot that, cause that's not something I think of when I'm doing it. I'm literally just right. being me and trying to get the girls going and myself so that, people actually appreciate that means a lot to me so thank you you're welcome and and you know last year you had one game at Barclays Center it drew nearly 8,000 fans and I I didn't do the game but I was there mm -hmm. and it got loud I think Tina had like 20 points before halftime she mm -hmm. absolutely went off it was against Seattle and you could feel it in there the the excitement was palpable so Going back to that moment and reliving that, how excited are you to have that as your home arena moving forward? I am actually like extra excited because both of the games, we had a preseason game that I didn't play right. against the Chinese Against's national time. team. Yeah. And then I didn't play that Seattle game because I had a concussion. So I'm like extra amped up because I haven't played there yet. <laughs> but 
the energy was wild and like I had a concussion, like I said, so I sat with like earplugs. I remember that, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was crazy and it was so much fun. And like I try to like sit still and I remember like I couldn't. It was me and Asia Durr and we kept on jumping up. So yeah, I'm so excited to play in the Barclays. Sitting still and Amanda Zowie B just they don't go together. No, I, not not, not when it comes to basketball. <laughs> no. Any other time they yeah, but not when it comes to basketball. <laughs> How about how about this team moving forward? I know we want we all want you to get back on the floor, but we all want to do it in a safe way. But right. uh, bringing in Lasia Clarendon, um, the top overall pick, Walt Hopkins, uh, Shelly Patterson, all of these new pieces coming into the team. How excited are you to get back on the floor with this new team here? Obviously, like you said, everyone wants this to happen in the healthiest way, but. Uh, we all just look forward to it and there's so much positivity and good energy that it's like we're just gonna keep on building on that whenever the season starts how about this let's get three words that maybe your teammates uh, would describe you what, what are the three best words your teammates would describe you as um corny <laughs> energetic and supportive all right. Those are three good ones. Those are good ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am the king of corn, by the way. The king of corn. Oh, I'm, I'm right so there. corny. I love it. Something we could um, definitely see throughout the season was basically we knew how you were feeling on the floor because to me, and, and I'm sure your mom would agree with this, your facial expressions <laughs> – there is no one that's more expressive. I, I don't think – forget the team. I don't think the league, when it comes to – I know exactly how you're feeling at that second. I mean, and our camera crew did a great job. Like, if you, if you uh, block somebody's shot, boom, close up of your face, and you're just like <laughs> – you, you, it, you, it's like you exactly knew where the camera was, too. It's uncanny. Oh, that's funny. So I want to make Amanda Zowie B emojis. What do you think about that? I'm down. <laughs> uh, I love that. How about a, how about a go-to cooking dish? Oh, okay. So I love broccoli. Oh, okay. So broccoli and cauliflower in the oven. And then I make salmon and shrimp. And then I make sweet potato mash and cornbread and what okay, else? Okay, we got asparagus. Stop. <laughs> I'm like, I love cooking. <laughs> I see I opened Pandora's box here with Amanda Zowie B. We, you know what? You and I should do a cooking segment during this season because I was taught by my mother and my grandmother before her, uh, the Italian side of my family. So I think Ooh. you and I would have a heck of a cooking show if we tried that. Oh, we should. We That will be great. Do you like Italian food? Yes, but okay. I don't eat meat, but I, I, That's I love fine. It. That's fine. We can, make, yeah. we can make vegan meatballs. I, I'm, I'm <gasps> well versed in everything, yes. Okay, I, I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> How about, we, we, we know that you like to cook. What about your mom? So what's your favorite dish that your mom cooked, maybe when you were growing up? Okay, besides her Swedish meatballs that are, I can't of eat, course. well, I can, but I don't eat them anymore. Okay. Um, and her pancakes, which are absolutely mind-blowing. They are amazing. <laughs> uh, she makes this... Um, sauce like a it's like a mustard spicy sauce i'm in but, but it, it doesn't taste like mustard but like it does like you know it's like what does she cook what does she cook it with so she put chicken in it but okay. since i don't eat it anymore she she makes just the sauce for me and then we have it with rice and it makes it makes me really happy now look we're, we're out of time but i am gonna hold you to the cooking show zowie oh, i'm gonna hold here. you to it Yes, yeah. we need to do this. We need to make vegan meatballs together. I will make that yes. happen. Amanda Zowie B, please stay safe. And we look so forward to seeing you back here in the U.S. and playing with the Liberty, hopefully sooner rather than later. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you.